Uh, the memories of the victims live on today. Overnight, a procession and candlelight memorial took place. It was a very emotional night, and part of it focused on kindness and resilience. Loved ones gathered once again to remember each and every person killed that day. And one by one, the lives lost on July 20th, 2012, were read out loud as people walked through the Waterwise Garden in Aurora. As they traveled from one memorial marker to another, they listened to memories about the lives lost and the ripple effect it's had on people 10 years later. The action of genuine kindness was the motivation behind Cranes. This memorial also represents resilience of us, our community, and our ability to rise. Families of those victims fight to see change every day, turning their pain and grief into something to help other families across the country. Justin Adams was there this morning as things got very emotional when talking about one of the youngest victims. Ten years ago, 12 people were killed inside of a war movie theater. And one of those that were killed was a young girl by the name of Veronica Moser Sullivan. She was just six years old. CEO Heather Dearman related to the young girl, sharing emotionally about who she was last night. Now, 10 years later, they have nearly 40 candles by Veronica's name at the memorial. Just a few short months later, Veronica welcomed 20 children from Sandy Hook to join her. This year, there are 19 additional children with them. We have placed 39 candles here in remembrance of them. Those children are looking down on us now with such innocence because they were taken too soon. And they are feeling our love and they are only seeing the beauty around us now. Remembering Veronica Moser Sullivan Baby Toes Moser, and the children of Sandy Hook and Uvalde. The midnight vigil early this morning reflected on all the lives lost because of the shooting. Families affected by the tragedy in Aurora are continuing work to try and prevent these tragedies from happening again, while also taking time to reflect on their own pain. In Aurora, Justin Adams, covering Colorado First.